Hello, my name is Dallin Inoch, and this is my final project for CIT 230. Um, so here we have the mountain spoke um, biking business. I decided to go with mountain bikes for the business. Uh, this is my homepage, index.html. Um, up here I have my logo that I created for it, um, the site title, and this is one of my Google fonts here and these are also Google fonts that I imported. Um, so here we just have a basic slideshow um, using JavaScript to slide through the images um, showing various mountain biking pictures. Um, have a little bit of a about us text um, describing the business and where it's located and then simple uh, contact information here, phone, email, and fax. Um, then my footer down here with the video and resources link. Um, also implemented wayfinding by uh, changing the background color of the navigation buttons um, when you switch to a, a different um, page here. So if I click Adventure Tours, you see how that switches and goes off the home page. And there's also a hover that shows what you're currently hovering over. So this is my Adventure Tours page. Um, describes a little bit of what it's about offering what we offer um, the skill level down here I have two different um, adventure trails that are going to be hosted year-round um, I describe their length the skill level cost times and the location down here for both skinny trails and Black Rock Pass then we go over to events. Um, this is the cycle of the Continental Divide page um, that the Mount Spoke sponsors. Um, goes over a little bit of the information here, where it starts and ends, um, the length of the route, um, stops along the way that people could, you know, rest or um, eat, things like that. Um, the dates here, August 5th, August 26th. Um, and the cost here and what they need to provide, which should be their own bike, hotel accommodations, or a tent, food and water. Uh, there's a basic sign-up sheet here that they can use, fill out and sign up. Um, and then uh, just an image over here that would represent the uh, bikers here doing that event. Go on to my sales page here. I'm using jQuery to uh, hide the bikes first um, when they're clicked they slide down show the uh, price and a couple of their specs gear ratio standover height and wheelbase and then you can click it again to hide it click the next one shows the same thing different bike picture for a different bike and a third one here and I also made it to where you can um, do all of these together so if people want to compare different you know aspects of it they can instead of having to you know remember if they closed automatically when you opened up a new one. Uh, my service page here just shows um, a couple services that we offer, basic tire patch, basic maintenance, which would be just normal wear and tear, have them look it over. Uh, intermediate, if something um, is actually you know damaged, where they'd have to get in there and fix that. And then a complete assembly and reassembly. If something was really messed up, they had to replace parts and everything, you have to completely tear down the bike. That be for that. I um, was not able to use JSON to get the cost in here. I was having some trouble with that, so this is just in the table here. So I was not able to meet that requirement. Um, and then my contact page has some um, the basic contact info, phone, email, fax, as I did on the index page. Um, there's a contact form fill out to um, to send, and then here we have the. Google Maps for the location of the company in Bozeman. Um, and all of this is completely responsive. So if we go max screen here, it's all going to look nice. Goes all the way down here to medium view here. There's a breakpoint. And then down to mobile, which I implemented a um, hamburger menu here and changed, using JavaScript, I changed Adventure Tours to ADV.Tours because um, it looked really weird. It was a lot larger in that all. 
works on each page. Everything, things are styled a little differently depending on the page. Let's kind of go through these real quick. And lastly, I have my resources page down here, which is going to have the links to all the images that I use and the license or the person um, that provided these images to me. So if you were to click these, they would open up the location where I found these images. And using CSS, they are all optimized for my site. And then down here is just going to be where I put my video when I'm done with it. And that is my basic overview of my Mountain Spoke site. So thank you very much.